Today we're going to show you a few ways to pack up the files from last year's phone and move them over to your shiny new iDevice. Hey everybody, I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and after hearing about the new iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you may be considering an upgrade. If you're holding off because you don't want to start all over on a new device, then listen up. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to give us a like and then subscribe for more. If you're already an iPhone user, there are two easy ways to move all that stuff over. The first is the tried and true method of an iTunes backup. Just connect your phone to your computer, open up iTunes, and go through the backup options in iTunes. Grab your new iPhone, turn it on, and connect it to the same computer. Select Restore from iTunes Backup and follow the instructions. If you're more of a cord cutting, not tied to a desktop person, you can do an iCloud backup. And if you've gone for the premium iCloud storage, this is a really simple method. On your phone, go to Settings, iCloud, Backup. Make sure iCloud Backup is turned on. Tap Backup Now. Now just go over to your new phone, power it on, and select Restore from iCloud Backup and proceed from there. For Android users transitioning to Apple, Apple has made it easy to move from the Google world to the Fruitopia of iOS via an app. On your Android device, download the Move to iOS app. This will copy over all your contacts, message history, photos, mail, apps, and calendars. If you have any Android-only apps or any widgets, it won't be able to get those, but everything else is good to go. Once those are downloaded, go to your new iPhone and select Move Data from Android, and Apple will walk you through the rest. Clever girl, Apple. <laughs> Last but not least, there are third-party apps. A few companies have created software that essentially duplicates the iTunes transfer experience. That means you download some software, connect your phones, and let the software transfer the selected information. Some of these companies offer unique features like merging data if you've already started using your new phone without moving your data first. Look for an app called AnyTrans if that's you. Or if you want to support some smaller app developers, check out Sync iOS or Wondershare, who make competitors to Apple's Move to iOS app. Now that you're up and running, you may want to check out these other great iPhone videos. And if you like what you see, subscribe so you'll know the next time we release a new video. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and I'll see you next time.